So we're using BlueJ. We've written a little class that has a method to sum up all the values from 1 to n, sum up the even values. And we've got our class, which is just initializing a scanner object for user input. There's the uh, constructor. And what really we're looking at is this method sum them, um, which asks the user to enter a value and then has a loop to start at 1 and go up to n, summing up the even numbers using modulo arithmetic right here to determine if a value is even or not. Um, so why don't we try and run this? What's a good yeah. value? Well, we want to try it with something that's not going to be too many things. So I would say maybe 4, because then the right answer is, let's see, summing all the even values from up to 4, starting at 1. That'd be 2 and 4. The answer should be 6. Okay, so I'm creating a new object. And then I'm going to call it sum them method. And we'll put in a 4 here. Okay. And hmm. that doesn't, doesn't look, look good. Look, uh, not I mean, good. I should have figured out 2 plus 4 by now. Yeah, I guess Instead you better stop it's running, it. I'm going to stop it here. Okay. All right. So, hmm. Let's go back and look at the code. So it took our input. That part is good. Okay, so yeah, so we know we got this far, and then it was running. Yeah, so I figure it must be in that loop, but somehow it never finished with the loop because we never got the final print at the bottom. The sum is right, and it didn't do this. Hmm. Well, maybe we better check and see what's going on inside the loop. So I usually put print statements like at the beginning of the loop or something. Okay, that's that's a good idea. Okay. So we'll print something here. System dot out dot print line. Hmm. Um, let's just print let's out. Uh, well, we, don't print out n. That's the same. That's the number we we ask the user to type in. How about uh, i? Okay. That's the so one that's changing. I is whatever its value is. Yep. So now we're going to print out the value of i. Okay, that's okay, good. Okay, okay. So we we'll compile this. Okay. And it says it compiled, so that's good. Now we can go back over here and create an object. And then we can call it sum them method. And we'll try 4 again. Uh-oh. Oh, lots of output. Uh, i is 1, lots of times. Infinite loop, all right. Um, that was ugly. Oh. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So that's, I is always one. That's really weird, isn't it? Yeah. I I know we have a plus plus in there. Yeah, it's right here. Yeah, I plus plus. Wonder why it's not increasing. Hmm. Well, we see it's supposed to be done there. If we print out the value of I at the end of the loop, we should be able to see it. See if it's going up. So okay. Let, yeah. Okay. So I'll just copy. Uh -huh. And right at the end of the loop. Paste. Oops. Uh, yeah. At the end, okay. I is something. So that's the end and of the loop. Compile again. Okay. And we'll try again. Create an object. Call it some mem method. Here we go, our printed value for that. So we were four, right? Yep. Um, it's one at the end also. Still infinite looping. So it's one at the beginning of the loop, and it's one at the end of each iteration. So it's like it's never doing I++. plus plus. Uh, no. We know it's getting to the end of the loop because it's printing. Yeah. It's never doing I++. Plus plus. Oh, wait. I++ plus plus is in an if statement. Okay. And, so and that, if statements don't always evaluate to true, they don't always do the, oh, the okay. stuff that's in there. So when i is 1, which it told it was, i modulo 1 modulo 2. Um, oh, 1 modulo 2 is 1, because modulo is the remainder from division. You do one, one, yeah, one 2, you got 1 left over. It's not an even number. We know 1's not an even number. Right. Oh. So it's not even, we don't want to do i just 
we don't want to increment i just when when it's even. We want to increment i every time. We want to go one, two, three, four. All right. So I should do it. I mean, I could do it up here. Yeah, but if you put i plus plus at the top of the loop, then it's going to start with the number two, and that's not quite right. I I don't know. I just usually put i plus plus at the bottom. Yeah. Of the loop. Okay. Okay. So I'll put it here. I. I plus plus. Okay. But you better take it out of the if statement, because otherwise, whenever it's an even number, it's going to say I plus plus twice. That's oh, like right. I would do it here, and then I would do it here again. Exactly. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. So we'll get rid of that. All right. Let's try that. And it compiled, which is always good. Okay. One more try. Call the sum them method. We're going to put in a value like 4. And hey. it says the sum w stopped, and it said the sum was six. Great, huh? Well, um, uh, let's try another one just to be sure. And it went through one, two, three, four. Okay. How about um, nine? If we say nine, then it should add up. Let's see, all the numbers between one and nine—they're even. That's two, four, six, and eight. Uh, six and four—that's ten. Eight and two—that's twenty. Um, okay, so we should get twenty. Yeah, because it shouldn't bother with that last. Okay, okay so I'll just call it again here. Yeah. And we'll put in nine. Nine. And at the end, it told us the sum was twenty. Yeah, and we can see it. I went all the way up to ten. Cool. Okay. Awesome. Cool. I think we're done.